A classic American uh, Atlantic Coast Conference matchup here. <laughs> Both of these teams obviously so close to the Atlantic Coast. Uh, Stanford is hosting SMU. And as it sits, SMU is a 15 and a half point road favorite here. And the total is 54 and a half on this one. Now, I would have the total a little lower. So it opened at 55 and a half. It's down to 54 and a half. I have it around 53. So it makes sense. My number on this has SMU favored by 19 points. It has SMU by 23 over the past four weeks of stats. Uh, SMU is a decidedly better team. Now, Stanford has played a much stronger strength of schedule. SMU plays number 67 current strength of schedule. SMU, uh, sorry, Stanford has played the number five current strength of schedule. Like, they have really been through the gauntlet here. Uh, did not look good against Notre Dame last week. I think that is putting it mildly. They were atrocious on that. Uh, and the crazy part is that Stanford's defense, we thought was pretty good against the run. Right, number 68 in PPA allowed per rush, number 81 in rushing success rate allowed, uh, 27 in offensive line yards, number 10 in stuff rate, and yet uh, Notre Dame just kind of did whatever they wanted to with them. So, you know, it is what it is. You look at the five factors plus talent rank, which is basically just like an efficiency, overall efficiency metric. How explosive are you? How often do you turn the ball over or allow yourself to uh, be put in a position to turn the ball over? Uh your success rate, all that kind of stuff, all wrapped up in one neat, tiny little package there. And I've got Stanford at number 105, and I've got SMU at number 16. I mean, it ain't good. It don't look good for Stanford. I know they're at home, and I know SMU had to travel, and I don't care. I think SMU is the significantly better football team. 15 and a half is way too low. Uh, give me the Mustangs to cover the 15 and a half on the road in Palo Alto. Stanford, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.